Here is a General Electric C4401A table radio from 1969, I believe. This is one of the models that's very similar to the tube type models. I think maybe by 69, uh, GE had quit making tube type radios and was just doing solid state. Or they might have been concurrent with each other. But I put all new caps in this and a new rectifier diode. I'm having a problem though with the volume control. I sprayed some contact cleaner in there, but that didn't seem to fix it. The problem that it's doing is that it'll it'll just go to between either almost to full volume and full volume. It won't really go to low volume settings. So I disassembled the pot. And I'm going to get some uh, contact cleaner on a, a cotton swab and try to clean it out a little bit better. I might try to adjust this, this contact here that sticks up. I might try to bend it up just a little bit to get some more contact to the, uh, the rotating finger there. You can see how black it is with oxidation. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get some contact cleaner on there and give it a good cleaning. Now I, I sprayed the contacts with some contact cleaner and cleaned them with a cotton swab. Now I'm ready to reassemble the pot. I've got a test potentiometer in there. When I reassembled this, it still didn't work correctly. So I'm going to see if I can take the element, uh, the resistance element, out of this and exchange it into this one here. But this does seem to work, although it does need to be cleaned. I do have this on an isolation transformer for safety. So I'll see if I can adapt this pot into here. Well, I tried seeing if that other mechanism from this other pot would, would somehow be able to be put into this pot, and I couldn't, couldn't seem to find a way to make that work. This pot has got a, a non-conductive shaft, plus it's got the, the type of shaft required by this knob, so I have to sometime try and see if I can find one that will work as a replacement. I guess for now I'll just leave it as it is because it does work but you just can't turn the volume down very low and sometimes if you get a strong station maybe a little bit too loud. I'll go ahead and demonstrate it now and someday hopefully I can get the problem completely You fixed. already know but you don't believe. You won't accept. You don't conceive. When you're inside your car, you feel safest of all. Are you safe? Are you? Two tons of sheet metal in your... See, you can turn it so it go so there's no sound. And when you, you start to crack it, it goes to middle no volume. Collision. Hold the f Don't text. Your angle will to be and next. You can turn it up louder. Oh, you've done it before. What's the harm? Just this once... Texas is sponsored by Mathnasium of Lubbock, where they teach kids math in a way that makes sense to them. Learn more at mathnasium.com. For a weak station, you've got a pretty good range, but when a really strong one comes in, it can be a little too loud. And I tested the uh, pot using an ohm meter. It seemed to ohm out okay, but just know that in the circuit, the substitute pot would give you full control of volume, but the original one uh, does not. Small fallible circle. Um, so I'm not. I, I think 
any uh, discord is much to do about nothing. I think people will be pleased once they get used to the new routine, how the new mass will go. And I hope that translates into... Uh, stuff we normally use with play file. Really? We're, we're done? <laughs> done and filed. It's a less taxing way to prepare and e-file taxes at freefile.irs.gov. You can stop whispering. There are those stations on 1400 and 1410. That's 1400. That's 1410. I my kids to my family, I make excuses to the people at work, I hide the truth from everyone, cover up at family holidays, you know, act as... There's the 1969 GE radio. So sometime, maybe I'll, I'll run across a pot I can put in there that'll, that'll work. I think it really needs to have an insulated shaft for safety, though. Here's how the chassis mounts in the cabinet. The circuit board just slips in uh, to these little notches and slots here. And I think the tube type circuit board would fit in there too. The tube type board I think is a little bit longer, but it's I think it's the same width as the solid state board. But it would go all the way to the back so that the interlock uh, could be hooked up to it. And I think this 68, it denotes 1968. It's kind of unusual how the speaker is mounted. I'm not sure why they chose to do it like this, but it, it does seem to work well enough. It seems to be able to project the sound pretty good. So there's the 1969 GE clock radio.